Hey there Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome. Um, this is going to be your March 18th through the 31st reading. Um, this is a general reading, so um, we'll be covering just about anything that's going on. So we'll let Tarot let us know and guide us through the process. As I was meditating on your energy, I was getting the full card and the eight of pentacles so i feel like there's something that you're trying to bring forward there's some kind of um you're trying to master a situation um there's there's something that you're working on diligently okay you're you're diligently working on you know creating something um a new beginning perhaps or taking a journey you know um with this full energy i feel like it's very kind of naive and innocent energy okay so I, I feel like you know you're having a lot of faith you're ready for this leap um but i feel like there's something that you're working on you're working on creating okay let's go ahead and get some tarot get more clarification for your reading okay so okay we have the hermit card and the queen of swords we also have the three of wands the ace of wands wow the moon card and the knight of wands okay at the bottom we have the tower so I feel like there's big changes happening. There's something that's unfolding. Um, I feel like, you know, if there's something that, if there's been a lot of conflict, if, if there's been a lot of struggles, I feel like big changes are coming. I feel like it's moving you out of this situation. I feel like you feel very overrun and kind of weighed down with burdens at the moment and I feel like there's a need for you to set those priorities to only take on what you can accept and don't be afraid to say no to the things that you can't handle at this moment okay because I feel like there's a lot of changes coming and I feel like if you if you're carrying too many burdens if you are struggling through the process, I feel like that's when this tower is bound to happen because you've taken on too much. You've been overloaded. You are, you know, going into burnout. Okay. So I, I feel like that's something that you need to hear at this moment because I feel like you're very close to that situation. But I feel like there's a lot of changes happening for you, Scorpio. Okay, and I feel like you are becoming more aware of your situation. Things are becoming more clear. You're getting a better understanding of your situation. Um, there may be things that have kind of brought you into feeling the need to be alone because you are really trying to figure out where things are going where are you going in your life you know what are your true expectations i feel like you are really soul searching about where you want to be where you want to set your your future where you want to set your house you know you know you may have the need to travel you may have the need to pursue something that you know you have your heart set on you know dream big okay um, that's what I'm getting, Scorpio. I feel like a lot of big things are happening. You're getting a lot of big ideas. I feel like your creativity is flowing. There may be gifts, and I feel like you are actively adapting to your situation. Because I feel like, you know, things are finally being revealed. Things are finally coming into view how you want things to be okay whereas before i feel like you know you were actively searching okay you were searching for the right path to go on but i feel like you know the sun is finally coming out you are you know the moon is finally trying to back up and things are becoming more revealed you're able to take action 
on something that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. Something that's going to create a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. Okay? And I feel like there's some kind of offer coming forward that's going to help you to, you know, put that creative juices into motion. Okay? So it may be something that you're actively pursuing or some kind of um, education that you're trying to pursue. But I feel like, you know, you're being very creative at this time. And I feel like it's a very exciting time for you because you're able to focus on what you want most. Okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarity for Scorpio. Give me more messages for Scorpio, please. Tell me more about this message. Okay, we have the Strength card, the Four of Cups, the King of Cups, wow, the Seven of Cups, the Hermit. Now, you have the Hermit twice, so I feel like, you know, a lot of things are really becoming clear, okay? And you have the Empress. Wow. We also have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like you're very independent. You're gaining your independence. You are, you know, um, maybe gaining in your finances. Maybe you're getting a promotion. Maybe you're getting some kind of increase. Um, maybe you're winning some kind of monies. Um, but I feel like you're gaining more independence. You're gaining more time, more space, more, you know, just more. Okay? Um, look, we have the emperor. We have the empress down here. So we have counterparts, you know? So I feel like if love is coming through, I feel like you are becoming more aware. You're feeling more supported. You may be really putting yourself out there to... Um, really find the love that you deserve we have the three of wands again so i feel like you know you've been waiting you've been waiting for something to happen and now i feel like it's very close it's very close to transforming the situation lots of changes coming love and happiness okay um success being recognized being viewed also having choices wow four of wands so and i feel like there's something very exciting and new that's unfolding okay scorpio and i feel like you're very strong and capable you're very fearless because i feel like you know you're moving into this place where you know you were once unfulfilled and seeking guidance and knowledge but i feel like you're gaining that you're gaining the confidence you're gaining the wisdom the capability okay and i feel like you know if love that you're if it's love that you're wanting if it's love that you're waiting for i feel like this king of cups is here to provide it for you you know there's love here for you if that is what you've been waiting for okay and with this ace of wands we have the seven of cups with the moon we have the hermit with the knight of wands we have the empress so i feel like you know with this new beginning i feel like with this creative ideas i feel like you may have several ideas that you're working with you may have several ideas to choose from okay you may have many options but don't be persuaded by so many options okay because i feel like having too many options may lead you away from your focus and with this um hermit card here being twice I feel like, you know, there's a need for you to refocus your energy, to gain more wisdom, more clarity on your situation, to be led more by your intuition, by the universe, into these opportunities. You see how he's facing these opportunities. He's moving towards the opportunity, okay? So I feel like, you know, with this Empress card, 
it, I feel like you're very fertile for something to happen. You're very fertile for new manifestations, for, you know, new things happening. If it's love that you're looking for, we had the the empress and the emperor. So there's, there's counterparts here. I feel like, Scorpio, you are the empress. And this king of cups is here waiting. So I feel like you're very fertile. Okay, if you if you don't want to get pregnant, I feel like you know you need to take precautions. But the empress also may be a single parent. They also are a good parent, a good mother, a good guide. Okay, and she's very abundant. She's very easily to manifest what it is she wants because she has that capability. Because she fully trusts in her intuition. Okay, so I feel like that is the energy the Spirit is telling you to um, to adhere to is being able to trust your intuition, being able to trust the way that you're led. Okay, so let's get some clarification for this. Uh, let's get an outcome for Scorpio. Tell me more about this reading, please. Tell me more about this reading for Scorpio. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, look at this. At the bottom, we have the Four of Wands. So I feel like there's a lot of happiness and celebration coming your way. Um, I feel like if, if you are in a love situation, I feel like it can lead to something greater and deeper, some greater and deeper understanding, you know, someone is setting you as their priority. Okay. So Scorpio, I feel like at this time, the outcome is you are going to be fulfilled you know there's some fulfillment here there's some wish fulfillment things are going to happen but i feel like it's happening because you're actively working on things you're actively building something up you're creating something in your life and there also may be someone helping you to create this okay there may be some teamwork happening here you have support you have someone that you're collaborating with to build up your wish, to bring this into fruition. Okay, so that's beautiful energy here because I feel like, you know, you're actively pursuing something that's bringing you great, great wealth, great happiness. Okay, a lot of changes are coming around for you at this moment, um, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and get some Moonology cards. See what's going on with Scorpio. Okay, we have, you're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, so don't back down now. Don't stop. You're very close. You know, you're at that Nine of Cups. You know, you want to move to that Ten of Cups. Okay, so you're very close. Just keep going. Don't let pride get in your way. Be strong, but don't let your ego guide you. Let your spirit guide you. Okay? So, um, at the bottom we have conclusions are within reach. You are going to gain the clarity that you need. The answers are coming forward for you. Okay? Let's get some uh, manifestation monology for Scorpio and this one wanted to come out right away okay we have unleash your kindest self first quarter moon in Capricorn and we have cool your emotions you know I feel like something may be getting you very emotional it may be this tower moment here but some something is going to have your emotions up in the air okay but trust all will be well okay so see let's get some angel cards for Scorpio let's get some angel cards for Scorpio what do the angels want to say to Scorpio okay we have look for a sign I feel like there's going to be signs and synchronicities that are going to come forward for you okay uh, there's going to be something that you need to re 
reconsider. There's going to be something that you need to take a second look at, uh, but the situation will improve. Things are becoming better. Things will improve um, as you go through this process, okay? So let's get some angel numbers for Scorpio. Let's get your angel number. What do the angels have to say to Scorpio? Okay. We have 1818, optimism. Okay. Okay, we have successful manifestation of your abundance is near. Higher levels of optimism are needed as new abundant beginnings are on the horizon. Brighter days always come after the darkest nights. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, in your, your affirmation, everything is in perfect order as I enter into this new chapter of my journey and connect to the abundance that is near. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, um, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And uh, if this reading doesn't quite resonate, feel free to take a look at your Sun, Moon, and Rising, your Venus sign. Um, I have those in your March playlist, so you'll be able to find them very easily. And until your next reading, Scorpio, many blessings to you. Love and light.